paper airplanes. So we've all made them as kids. You know, you have your design, you fold it, you race your friends, and sometimes they just suck. I mean, you know, you're, you're folding it, maybe you fold it wrong, something like that, and it just doesn't go far. You know what I mean? You throw it. Oh no. What we're looking at today is a motorized paper plane attachment. What you do is you take this motor, you attach to any paper plane that you fold, and you fly it like a drone. Drones these days, they're expensive. We looked at one the other day, it was like 200 bucks. They're pretty hard to use, and if I'm being honest, they're pretty fragile. We ruined that drone pretty quickly. A Star Wars drone, it was messed up. Link in description if you wanna check it out. Drones are expensive. If you want a cheaper alternative and something a bit more durable, go for this. This is called the Power Up Dart. It is a smartphone controlled paper airplane. So what do you do? You take any paper airplane, like I said, you fold it, you attach this to it, and you can fly it. Now, there's a couple cool options. Fold your plane, connect it with your Dart. There's an app, which is Bluetooth enabled. We'll see how this works. Convert your paper airplane into a jet. Take it out. Woo! There it is. There's nothing else inside the package. It does come with its own USB charging cable, which is nice. Um, it also comes with a couple of papers here as well. We'll put these to the side at the moment. So, what do you got? You got your actual device, the propeller at the back, propeller at the front, which is attached, and you have landing gear. This is for takeoff and landing with your plane. I'll get this out. All right. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now, we're gonna set it up. We're gonna be comparing it to a normal paper airplane, jet versus paper airplane. See which one is better. So now that we have all the parts out of the box, we're just gonna assemble it. Okay. There we go. Now, this one only has one motor at the back, actually. It showed on the box that it uses two motors, but there doesn't seem to be a mounting point at the front for it. Now, we're just gonna let this charge while we figure out how to build these airplanes. We're wow. racing planes here. All right, so as I mentioned before, this is a $50 option that you can turn any plane into, you know, an exquisite flying machine. So, we have the app, it is called Power Up Dart 3. So apparently you have to learn how to fly before you can fly. All right, ooh, congratulations. I can now fly a plane. I'm pretty happy. All right, done. One thing that you will notice on the desk is that there's actually four different planes. So this is the one that comes with the motorized jet. This is what you attach to it and fly with it. This is gonna be pretty awesome. And then on the side here, we have three different planes made by three different people of our team. Of course, you have mine. Mm. I might be biased, but I think it's gonna win. Look at that shape. Look at it. What elegance. And then of course, you have Nathan's. Use a bit of tape here, it's okay. That's a fault in this paper folding design. All right, it required tape. Oh, and then of course you have my broski. Look, look, I don't even know what he did. This is like origami, I'm gonna win. Searching for your power up. Make sure your power up glider slash jet is near your phone. Now, another couple things that to point out with this with this paper airplane slash jet setup is that it does have a battery. It is chargeable through the USB cable that was attached it says you get a full charge in 25 minutes of having this plugged into a wall Ooh. well i guess while we're waiting i can just uh, sort of fit this in here so it looks like you go like this so at the front here there's like this sort of clip design that has a little tiny gap in the middle of it i don't know if you can pick that up that's where the slit of the bottom of the plane slides into yeah, so you need to tape the actual motorized thing to the plane so it is secure, so it doesn't fall out. It is nice and secure, nice and snug. Looks ready to fly. All right, here we go. We're ready for takeoff. It's locked. Double tap to unlock. The runway is now clear. So there's a couple options. You can turn left, turn right. If you want to boost it, that's what you do to make it fly super fast. You know, you're in a pinch and you get out of there. That's what you do. There's also a fuel indicator on the phone, which lets you know how much your battery is charged. And here we go. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. That thing did not fly at all. I built you perfectly fine. All right, maybe I'm supposed to bend up the wings. I don't know. Come on, I wanna see you fly. I'm gonna turn all these flaps up. All right, there we go. Double tap to unlock. 
I want it to fly. Boof. Hey! It flew off the ground. It was off camera. All right, so before we get any further with this, we're having a bit of a problem with it. I need to know who builds the best paper airplane in this office, all right? Of course, you got mine, the elegant one. You got Nathan's, needed a bit of tape. At least it's not duct tape, I approve. And then of course you have Broski's origami fish. <laughs> all right, so this is a test. I'm gonna sit in that chair. I'm gonna throw them, see how far they go. All right, so I mean, that was a pretty easy competition. I won, straight up. No one beat me. Whoa, 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 what are you talking whoa, whoa, about? Anyways, whoa, whoa, back to the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Why you always lying? All right, double tap to unlock. We're gonna be trying this one last time now. The first two attempts to actually fly this have ended terribly. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't generate enough lift, so it just kind of races around the ground. But I added some additional flaps, as you guys can see at the back. These should add a bit more lift. Hopefully, it takes off. Here we go. Take off. Double tap to unlock. I'm just gonna full throttle plus the boost. See where it goes. I want it to at least take off from this table. So, here we go. Double tap to unlock. Boost. Ow. What the? My goodness, that's why you don't put a propeller on the front. All right, boost. Mini, mini, mini. Well, that did not last. All right, so I mean for 50 bucks, it's a pretty good buy. Now, we couldn't get ours to fly for some reason. I think it does need more space. If I actually watch the training videos, it did, it did show a field. You know, where to fly, it showed outdoors, you need a lot more space. I think it needs to build up speed before it can actually take off. But for 50 bucks compared to other drones, you would have a lot more fun with these if you have a bunch of friends and you can actually race them against each other. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment down below, let us know what you thought, or if you want to see anything unboxed or reviewed and subscribe if you're new. We do giveaways every week. Peace.